Hello, and welcome back to tonight's episode of Inside the Internet Star. I'm your host, Bob Bruce. Tonight here we have rapper K-Bars, the internet rap sensation who's become very famous over the last couple of months. For what? I have absolutely no idea. But tonight he's going to give us a little insight on his life. K-Bars, how's it going? First off, hashtag K-Bars. Hashtag K-Bars, how's it going? Good. Good, okay. Um, everyone wants to know, what's your real name? You know, you haven't said it before, but would you be willing to give it up for us while you're on the show? Yeah, you know, my real name is actually uh, Bernard. You know, growing up, my friends would call me Nard. Really? They didn't, they didn't call you Bernie? Yeah, I mean, you know, it is weird, but it, it is. Okay, all right. Um, so, how'd you get the name K-Bars, man? Okay, um, <clears throat> so, different question, uh, would you say you had a pretty rough childhood? Yeah, you know, I mean, like, growing up in the streets of San Fran, <clears throat> Compton, you know, uh, I had my daddy, <clears throat> uh, I mean, I, I don't know, bro, I was bully. Okay, w would you say this bullying is an inspiration for you and your music, or? F*** out my face, B. Well, different question, different question, change the subject, all right? Uh, do you like comparing yourself to the all-time greats? I mean, it's kind of hard to compare yourself to the all-time greats when you're already the greatest of all time, you know? Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, well, you know, you've blown up huge here over the last couple of months. You've already known this. Um, despite not releasing one f***ing song. It's weird, because I've been searching all over the place, and I've only found these shitty radio interviews. What's, what's your response to that? Oh, so, like, you trying to disrespect me? Like, you think I'm stupid? You don't think I would come prepared? Because I Googled you. In the state of Iowa, you're a registered sex offender. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> well, that's just something entirely different. I'm not really like, you know, what define registered sex offender, right? You know, I mean, that's not really, you know, here or there, you know. And so what I'm, I wholeheartedly support the apartheid. You know, it has nothing to do with me. This is, this is, a, this is a you interview, okay? <laughs> just No one brought up the apartheid. And, anyway, <clears throat> you know, if you're such a great rapper, why don't we just hear a freestyle from you? How about that? One just off the dome. Oh, yeah. you want off the dome? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, my host is a bitch. When I go home, I'm about to watch Lilo and Stitch. All right. So when we finally hear some of your music, uh, what's it gonna sound like? All right. You know, what are, what are some of your musical inspirations, if you have any? I gotta shout out my boy Mr. Clean. Always keeping it fresh. Thank you, boy. Hashtag K bars. Also, you know, I gotta give a shout out to everything around the crib. You know, my toaster. You know, always bringing that fire. Uh, you know, my blender. I gotta love my blender, man. Always helping me with the sound. You know, making the. Uh, you know, that shit. Mm. Also, gonna give a big shout out to my one and only Parmesan cheese. It's amazing. This is the best stuff. Never leave the house without it. Biggest shout out to my man Parmesan cheese. Mm. He's not even sponsored, folks. Um, well, what do you say about your critics? Complex Magazine just listed you as uh, number one on their most overhyped rappers list. Quote, as a quote, they said, uh, you're the Kim Kardashian of rap. Uh, how do you respond to this allegation? Man, I consider myself the Gandhi of rap. You mean the ha Mahatma? Yeah, you know, you that dictator, man. I like him. I think that's Hitler. I think that's, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> right, right, yeah. Um, yeah, no, right. I get them mixed up sometimes. Right, okay, so would you, would you call yourself the Hitler of rap? Uh, um, ba basically, yeah. All right, well, that makes sense. Um, now, K-Bars, can you tell me and your fans watching here at home, uh, when can we expect some music from you? You know, when, uh, is there anything you want to say to them? You know, uh, what's next for Little Adolf? <clears throat> Yo, to my fans, I love my fans. They're the best. I really appreciate how much they always out here support me, and I like to give back to them as much as possible. And for my music, yo, when I'm ready, the music gonna be ready. You feel? I've been in the studio grinding every day, you know, working real hard every day, making my music every day. Don't push nothing till it's 100, bro, you feel? Every day. Gotcha, okay. No need to get hyped up over everything, K-Bars. Don't worry, this interview will be over soon, thank God. Uh, I, only I got have, shit to do, man. Well, I only have one more question. So, being at the top of the rap game, uh, what's in K-Bar's future? Yo, man, you know, I'm going to be dropping that album in, like, October or August. 
What when was that? Uh, you know, I'm really thinking the future for me. I, I'll probably be like end up electrician or probably the next president of the United States. You know, it's really kind of up in the air. Okay. Well, yeah. Well. Okay. Thank you for being here. Hashtag KBars. Thanks for wasting five minutes of my life as well as everyone here at home. And uh, thanks for proving you're a complete fraud. And I hope you're out in hell for all the money you're making. Well, so. you know what, bro? I ain't need to be here. I'm here for your stupid show. And you're going to disrespect me. That is ridiculous. Well, whatever. You know what, man? I forgot my Parmesan cheese. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, well, uh, you can check out my SoundCloud, too, because I'm also a rapper with zero music. See you in hell.